France's 49 million voters go to the polls on Sunday for a second and final round vote between incumbent President Emmanuel Macron and far-right challenger Marine Le Pen. As campaigning ended, Macron cast Le Pen as a radical, while she told voters Macron is anti-France. Special correspondent Malcolm Brabant reports from Paris. We're going to win, chant the supporters of Marine Le Pen, who was thoroughly trounced by Emmanuel Macron in this contest five years ago. Since that defeat, Le Pen has moderated her hardline rhetoric to appear more mainstream. But she needs the votes of the extreme right, and as her campaign peaked, she channeled Donald Trump with pleas to make France great again. People of France, the moment when you can claim justice in the ballot box is approaching. The moment when you can throw away the bad memories of this reign of arrogance is this Sunday. People of France, rise up against those who have such little regard for the defense of our civilization, who have denigrated your history, your culture, your traditions, who have submerged our sole demographic prospect in immigration, who have authorized the construction of mosques and cathedrals subjected to pernicious foreign influences. France's eternal inspiration, Marianne, who symbolizes freedom, solidarity and equality, is draped in the Ukrainian flag. But Le Pen has been accused by President Macron of being in Vladimir Putin's pocket after her party borrowed nearly $10 million from a Moscow bank. Le Pen has threatened to withdraw France from NATO's American-led Integrated Military Command. She's also opposed to ending imports of Russian oil because she believes it would hurt France. In this election, domestic issues trump concerns over European peace. Marine Le Pen has very little support in metropolitan Paris. Rural villages and provincial towns like Arras here in northern France have become her stronghold. This is part of France's Rust Belt, which has been hard hit by the closure of steel mills and mines. Le Pen's pledges to cut the cost of living and also her anti-immigrant stance really resonate here. I'm not racist. I've had foreign friends who integrated better, whereas nowadays they're in small communities. They don't mix. We've had Italians, Spanish. They assimilated. They learned the language. They learn our habits. But them? No. You see that? For me, that's not France. From a builder's perspective, with Marine Le Pen, we can have better purchasing power, which will be great. What will be better with Marine is that she will save France. She's got a program. The prospect of a Le Pen presidency horrifies those living amid the brutalist architecture of France's poor city suburbs. Saint-Denis, on the outskirts of Paris, is the most diverse district in the country. Look at me. Look at me. I'm scared because I'm a foreigner, even though I was born here. Le Pen tells me I'm only French on paper, but I'm French. That's why I'm scared. Songwriter and composer Pedro Coyate fuses African rhythms with Western genres. He was born in France after his parents emigrated from Mali in West Africa, which is struggling with an Islamist insurgency. Despite Le Pen's assurances, ultimately, he fears deportation. We are the scapegoats. I'm scared because I love this country. Long before me, my ancestors helped France during the Second World War, and now we're looking at the other end of the spectrum, where the right wing have said what they will do, and they will apply what they've said. Be careful. We know who we're dealing with here. Sociologist and anthropologist Nasira Gwenif specializes in migration and ethnic minorities. She hopes that supporters of left-winger Jean-Luc Mélenchon, eliminated in the election's first round held two weeks ago, will vote for Macron on Sunday. What do you think the chances are that there could be a Trump-style upset and Le Pen will win against the odds? Yeah, there might be something of that kind. I mean, uh, if you consider that Europe is not free of all these tendencies and France is part of Europe and it hasn't fought hard enough against uh, states like Hungary or Poland that put to the fore this kind of policies against migration, against civil rights. Gwenif is relying on disaffected voters like 26-year-old waitress Mariama Sadio to cast their ballots against Le Pen. Okay, parfait. I tell you, I've got the chills. It's scary. It's scary because in her right-wing program, where do we immigrants go? 
What are we going to do? What are we going to become? The Pen's campaign is banking on unhappy left-leaning voters abstaining. Mariana Sadio falls into that camp. Don't you think you have to vote tactically to stop Le Pen from getting in? It could be seen as a tactical vote. I understand that. But to me, that would mean that I was for Macron. And I am not for Macron. Centrist Emmanuel Macron has a serious fight on his hands because his five-year presidency was littered with protests and he's widely perceived as being arrogant and out of touch with much of the population. Le Pen's surge is said to have caused panic amongst the president's strategists. Alexandre Holroyd represents Macron's party in the National Assembly. Has President Macron been complacent in this campaign? Absolutely not. I think that the, the president has been as much as a candidate as he could um, and has been as much as a president as he had to. And this has been an exceptional time, obviously, with the conflict in Ukraine. And he's been fully working day in, day out to try and prevent that conflict originally and to try and mitigate its impact. Although still preoccupied with Ukraine, Macron has stepped up his campaigning in these final days. À tous nos compatriotes. To all the French who chose to abstain or the vote on the extreme, I want to convince them in the coming days that our project is a much stronger response compared to the far right's scares and the challenges of our time. You can count on me. Le Pen's rallies always end with the Marseillaise, the French national anthem. This election represents the best chance the far right has ever had of winning the presidency. Yet all the latest opinion polls suggest that Marine Le Pen will fall short once again. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Malcolm Brabant in Paris.